that you're here and that you chose to come visit us and worship with us. Let your hair down. Yeah. Feel like running around the church. Run. You feel like shouting. Shout. <laughs> you're at home with us. Amen. Amen. We're your family. Amen. Amen. We are glad to have you here. And we appreciate you coming. Amen. Give them a hand. <laughs>
you don't have to fail for you to succeed. You see, that's what Indian Jones says. They want somebody to fall mm -hmm. and you to be successful. But then God would be omnipotent, would he? That's all that, that's the word to see. He has all power. If God could make us all successful, he wouldn't be omnipotent. But wow, he's blessing you, Sister Sarah. He got a blessing with my name on it. Stays in motion, so I'm gonna be standing all the time. Oh, yeah. Come on, Pastor. 
I see some pastors sitting and teaching in their chairs and all that. So I ain't going to die. I'm going to stand. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you would turn with me to the book of Ezekiel. God bless each and every one of you all. Thank you all. You can have it. But reach up and grab it. Ezekiel, the 37th chapter. Most of us have been in and around the church because everybody, and then those of us that have been in Christ, because some people are around church. They come around every once in a while, Easter, Christmas, Mother's Day. Some people are kind of in church, they, they in, but, and then there are those that are in Christ. But this is a familiar passage of scripture. We're going to see if we can dig and bring some more out of here, all right? Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, the first verse, it says, The hand of the Lord was upon me, and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones, Come on. Come on. and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many, in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. Mm -hmm. And he said unto me, come on, come on, sir. Son of man, can these bones live? Yes. And I answered, O Lord, thou knowest. Yes. And we're going to get to the rest of it. But I want you to look at your neighbor say, I don't know. I don't know. But he does. But he does. Mm -hmm. I want you to say it one more time. I don't know. I don't know. But he does. But he does. If you're in one of them situations that you don't know what's going on, but you need answers. Yes. It's good to know that somebody else has the answer when you don't know it. Yes. Yes. You believe God got the answer to every problem that you got in your life? Put your Bible down for a moment. Let's give him up. him. 
and began to speak to him about the situation that he, his people was in. And he describes it in detail. So that lets me know that God know in detail what I'm going through. Amen. He knows every detail of what I'm going through. He knows all about it. He knows every little intricacy. And so he began to talk to Ezekiel. And he describes this situation. Let's look at it. Let's read through here slowly. Would you go with me? He said, the hand of the Lord was upon me. And he carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst. Sometimes you wonder how you got there, don't you? Maybe God carried you and set you right down in the midst of that situation. He said, he carried me and he set me down in the midst. Of the valley. Mm -hmm. Not only did he carry me somewhere, but he set me down in a valley. Mm -hmm. Not on the mountain. Mm -hmm. He set me down in the midst mm -hmm. of the valley. Mm -hmm. But then the valley mm -hmm. was full of it. Oh, my, my. <laughs> Come on. Come on he said the valley was full of bones. Mm -hmm. So not only did he carried me and set me down in a valley. Mm. But he didn't put me within living things. Mm -hmm. He set me with dead things. Right. Come on, man. Preach, preach. Sometimes we find ourselves in the midst of something mm -hmm. and we don't know how we got there. Mm -hmm. But just for a minute, I want you to think maybe God Sit you down there. Yeah. Now God being omniscient knows everything. He sets them down in the midst of the valley of bones. Bunch of skeletons. So now not only am I in a valley but I'm seeing a bunch of dead bones. The flesh has came off of them. They, they're gone. <laughs> Next verse. And caused me to pass them, pass them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. Not just a few bones. A lot of dead bones. It's like it ain't one thing, it's a another. How many times have we said that? If it ain't one thing, it's a another. And a another. And a another. He said, he sent me down in the midst of these bones, and it was me. Mm -hmm. And lo, they were very dry. Now he said they just said to been there, but they've been there a long time. Yes. So God set me in a miss a uh, problem that didn't come yesterday, but it's been there a while now. Yes. See, some of y'all been going through these things that whatever you've been going through for a while, and you're asking yourself, where is God? Yes. I don't know what to do with this situation. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I'm going to get out. I don't know when I'm going to get out. I don't know the way out. But somebody say, he does. He does. He does. He does. And so he describes this situation. How dire it is. Because imagine that you I sitting in a valley, and all you see is dead bones everywhere. As far as your eyes can see, 
you see a bunch of uh, dead men bones. Now come on, go with me. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? He said, I got you in a situation and it looks hopeless. Come on, preach now. Preach. Now I want to have some dialogue with you. Now why does God ask questions that he already know the answer to? Because he want to bring you in. He wants to hear from you. You see, God can do anything, but he chose not to do nothing except he does it through a man or a woman in the earth. Yes. He can do anything, but he chose not unless he works through a human being. He asked this same man, he said, I wanted to heal this man. I want to heal it, but I sought for somebody to stand in the gap, mm -hmm. and I couldn't find nobody. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. You see, it may be that the reason why your family can't get up, because somebody in the family needs to stand up okay. and stand in the gap. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody mm -hmm. has to make a difference. Yeah. And so God says, see, Ezekiel, Ask him a question that he already knows the answer. God, if you know the answer, why are you asking me? Because I want to talk with you. Yes. Come on, sir. God loves dialogue. God loves interaction. God loves fellowship. And so Ezekiel said, look, I know what the situation is, mm -hmm. but let us have a conversation. Yes. In the middle of the situation. Yeah. You see, God don't care what the situation is. He still wants to talk to you. Yeah. He still wants to interact with yeah. you. He still wants you involved. Yeah. He don't want you to become part of the situation. All right. Come on now. All right now. Ezekiel, don't you try him too. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> I said, Ezekiel, you see these wrong, but I don't want you to be another I want to talk to you in this situation. Yes. Let's work something out here. Yes. So he asked this question. Can these bones live? Amen. As if he don't know. Mm -hmm. Now in Ezekiel, has a dilemma. Because he don't know if these bones can live or not. He's looking at them. He's seen skeletons before. He's looking at them and he's looking maybe if there was one. But he sees them all throughout the valley. And God doesn't ask, can this skeleton be revived? He said, can these bones Amen. That means, can every one of them come out of the condition that they're in, Ezekiel? Yes. Yes. Can you answer my question? Mm -hmm. You see, God right now is posing to you a question. Do you believe that I can do anything? Yes. Do you believe that there is nothing impossible with me? This is what he's asking Ezekiel. Can these bones live? Yes. Mama, mama. Ezekiel sits there. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. He thinks for a moment. Mm -hmm. He say, I know God. I've been serving him. Mm -hmm. And I know he's almighty God. Yes. But I don't know what he's going to do in this situation. So I can't say no and believe that God can do anything. Uh -huh. there you go. Amen. But I can't say yes because I'm finite and I don't have all wisdom. Uh -huh. So now I'm in a dilemma. And I can't say no because then I will be doubting God. Yes. If I say yes, then I will be in presumption because I'll be presuming that God's going to do something about it and he don't have to because he's sovereign. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
us with ourselves. Because we don't really believe what's coming out of our own mouth. We're saying what we think God wants to hear. That's it. You see, I can prove to y'all scripture that when God poses a question, he already knows the answer. Yes. But he wants an honest answer from you. Uh -huh. All right. The man had a demon possessed son. Uh -huh. And nobody could cast him out. Uh -huh. So Jesus comes to him and asks him if he believes. He said, Lord, I kind of believe you, but help thou the part that don't believe you. He gave him an honest answer, and God moved in the situation. Every time you get honest with God, you're halfway there. Stop lying to yourself. Stop lying to God. God knows exactly where you are. So come on clean so we can get the victory. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because he's eager in a, he's in a place now. He, 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 he wants to, to, to say the right thing. But he don't really know the right thing to say. So he said the best thing. Yes, he did. I don't know. I don't know. But thou knowest. Thou knowest. When you say the right thing to God, oh, yeah. it motivates God. Yeah. It moves God. Yeah. It causes God to lead in your direction. Yeah. Because right now, Ezekiel was in a neutral spot. Mm -hmm. And so he goes to the next verse. And again he said unto me, he's constantly having this dialogue. See, God doesn't want just to hear from you. He wants you to wait and hear from him. Amen. Amen. See, he, after you done told him how bad it is, Amen. how crazy it is, yes. how confused it is, yes. how hard it is, yes. how wrong you've been treated, yes. how nobody understands you, yes. and you done laid your whole situation out to God. Yes. Now God said, okay, I got something to say about that. Yes. But you done laid it out and now you done moved on. No, no. You got to understand that God wants to interact with you. Yeah. Okay, you told me what the problem is. Now hear what I got to say. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hear what I think about it. Oh, man. Ask me what I'm going to do about it. Oh. Don't tell me what I'm going to do about it. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do about it. Don't tell me what I should do about it because remember, you're finite. Your knowledge is limited. I'm infinite. I know everything. So the part that you miss and you got blind sides everywhere, God don't miss none of it. Hallelujah. And he said it to me again. And again he said it to me, prophesy. Open your mouth now, Ezekiel. Ooh. You got a situation. Yes. And God tells him, don't cry. Mm -hmm. Don't moan. Right. Don't get depressed. Right. Don't get discouraged. Right. Open your mouth oh, and man. speak. Elder Fyman said something last weekend that's been right with me. He said, yes. <laughs> Well, how do you say, say what you hear, and then you'll see what you say. So God speaks to Ezekiel. He didn't speak to the bones, did he? He spoke to Ezekiel. You see, God wants to use you in your situation to get it worked out. And so God says, 
until Ezekiel mm -hmm. prophesied hey. or proclaimed. Yes. Jesus. Say something to the situation. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. But don't I say it. anything. Yeah. Here's what I want you to say. You see, you can't say anything to your situation and get it to change. Oh, I did the wrong, and Lord, you know all, and, and God, I, I got, and I got this financial problem, and I got that financial, and I don't know. How. Don't say what God didn't say about it. Come on, Pastor. Come on. God saw the bones were dry and very dry. He said, but talk to them. You got to learn to talk to your situation through the word of the living God. Because God's word has life. But you got to speak to that situation. I don't care how bad it looks and tell them what the said, what the word of God says. He said, prophesy mm -hmm. unto these bones. Yeah. And don't just say something, mm -hmm. but say unto them, mm -hmm. call out, oh mm -hmm. ye dry bones. Yeah. Now this tells me, faith doesn't deny the facts. Uh -huh. <laughs> he called it what it is. Yeah. Faith just denied the fact to operate in your life. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yeah. It ain't denied that the bones are dry. Uh -huh. But the word of God can change any situation. Yeah. So then you don't just operate with the facts. You stand on the truth. Amen. 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 The bones will dry. Uh -huh. But the truth, God says, they can live. Yeah. So why are you going to believe the facts that you see or the truth that you know? Yeah. Because he said, and ye shall know the truth. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Glory. And the truth. Come on. It'll make you free. Yeah. The truth. I make the bones change. Yes. The truth. I make the situation yes. turn around. Yes. And you got to know that when you're looking at facts, yes. what's the truth? Mm. Glory to God. Glory to God. God is teaching the Ezekiel now. Mm -hmm. he's, he's, in the, he's moving in on him now. Yeah. He's saying, look at here. These bones are dry and very yeah. dry, but I want you to talk to them. Yeah. I, and he said, I want you to recognize that. Yeah. Let's see, believe in God for your healing. It doesn't mean that you ain't acknowledge that sickness in your body, that you will believe that the word of God yeah. supersedes the sickness yeah. that's in your body. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't denying that you're broke, but yes. you know a God that has a cow on a thousand yes. hills, that there's nothing too hard for him, yes. that he owns all of it. The yes. earth is the Lord. Yes. So then why, if God owns it all, if I sit around crying about a little bit, and then, then that God that I serve owns it all, speak to him. Oh, 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 you dry bones. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm tired of you being dry. Yes. I'm down here with you, but I'm down here to make a change. Yes. Hallelujah. I have you ever thought about the reason why you're in the valley with all these crazy oh, folks oh, that God put you in the midst to make a change. Yes. They are all dry. Yeah. Yeah. So God sent somebody that got some speaking power and yeah. get some dryness. Yeah. Yeah. So they can change the situation. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Yeah, yeah, 
If I come to church and the church is dry that Sunday, I don't sit around and look at the dry bones. Put my hands together. I open my mouth and begin to praise the name. On my job, I didn't cry about how messed up people was. I spoke to the situation. I said, God, you got to change this atmosphere. I'm here now. I said, I'm here now. I don't care how I was before I got here. But I'm here now. And I'm speaking to this situation. That's why God is getting him yes. to cooperate. Yes. See, God could have spoke to the bones, yes. but he wants to use you. Yes. He wants you involved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on, go with me. Let me. Yes, let me. Ooh, I'm trying this, Sister Pat. I'm doing that. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He said, prophesy mm -hmm. unto these bones. Mm -hmm. And say unto them, yeah. oh, ye dry bones, yeah. hear uh -huh. the word of the Lord. Of the Lord. Yeah. Hey. That lets me know uh -huh. that the situation can hear God. Yeah. I say the situation can hear God. I don't care if it's dead. God spoke to Lazarus being dead for yes. days. Yes. Hear Thank you, Lord. the word. Yes. I don't care how dead it looks. Uh -huh. Speak to it. Hear yes. the word. Yes. Oh, it can hear it. I don't care how dead it seems. It can body hear yes. the word yes. that with this strikes. I am healed. Yes. Here. Right. I can hear right. the word of the God. Right. My God shall right. right. All right. of my All right. Here. All right. All right. Yes. Glory, glory. 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 Hear the word. Yes. Don't hear me. Let's move on. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into unto you, mm -hmm. and ye shall live. Yes. Now, look at it, because you got to look at scripture. Mm -hmm. God tells them. It's finished before he actually gets into the process of it. He said, Hear the word of God. Breath shall enter into you, and you shall live. But the dead. Now, this is where we get messed up at. Because we don't realize there's stages to the state. They, that situation, hear God when you speak to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that ain't look like it ain't moving. That's right. Or it ain't moving like you hear the you hear. See, what preaching does, mm -hmm. it proclaims to you what God can do uh -huh. and what God will do. Uh -huh. But then you got to hear uh -huh. and then you speak it. Uh -huh. But then it seems like nothing happened. Uh -huh. Well the preacher just told me if I speak it. But there's process. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to show it to you. Because you need to learn this. When you speak to something, it don't mean that it didn't hear you. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Watch this. Watch this. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay <laughs> sinews upon you, upon you, 
and bring you up and, and will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and ye shall live and ye shall know that I am the Lord I am the Lord the God I am the Lord I am the Lord so now he hears this from God right mm -hmm. so now he has to exercise what he has heard God has spoken to him but he didn't speak to the situation how does faith come? By hearing. By hearing. Mm -hmm. And hearing what? The word of God. So now he heard the word of God. Mm -hmm. That's what Elder Franklin was talking about last. He heard it. Mm -hmm. Now he got to say what he heard. Mm -hmm. Now if you notice, God spoke in stages, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Watch this. Watch this. So I prophesied. So, as I was commanded, and I and as I prophesied, there was a noise. Mm -hmm. The bones and all just, the body all just didn't come together. See, sometimes uh -huh. come on, man. Come on. you gotta look for the loose. <laughs> sometimes you just look for the, just look for the small. You're waiting on the miracle. Look for her. Maybe uh, say you've been say you've been praying for your husband, your wife, or your children. Maybe you've been praying for your unsaved child and they ain't called you in weeks. They had nothing to say to you. When they said something that wasn't good. And then you just get a phone call, Mama. Yes. Daddy, I was just thinking about you. Yes, yes. That's the noise. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. You were get waiting for the manifestation. Yes. But if you heard the noise, yes. then you know that the next thing that's gonna happen. My wife said she wanted a husband. <laughs> so she made some noise. <laughs> She started. Mm -mm. On, she started sitting a table for two. Come on. Ain't nobody on the other side. Ain't nobody talking. There's nobody there. But she's sitting out the table. She's sitting everything. She she's sitting down with. One. On. That's the fact. Yeah, but she see two. Yeah. That's the truth. So she ain't lonely. Because she talking to me. Somebody that walks in the house thinks she's talking to herself. <laughs> Say the woman is crazy. She talking to her man over there talking about but he ain't there. But see, she done heard from God. Oh, yeah. That's the noise. Oh, yeah. So if you know that God has gave you something, go ahead and set the table. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and ask God to do it. Go work to God. Oh, yeah. I ain't going to be looking foolish. That's why you ain't got nothing. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. I'm believing God for this house, but you're in an apartment. Well, when you gonna go out there and start looking? That's what we did. Yeah. Yeah. We got married. She had a townhouse. I said, No, I ain't living with you. I, we gotta get to get our own place. We stay in this little bed, little apartment right here. God's gonna give me, a, give us a place. And, I, and I'm on the IRS, fifty thousand dollars. And I gotta pay them. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. And I go face them and go try to make some arrangements and pay them. You see, when you hear noise, oh, yes, 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 noise. I went down there. I said, "Well, I came to make arrangements to 
try to pay you off. I ain't know how long it's going to take, but you got to begin to move. Yeah. 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 You just can't sit there and do nothing. Yeah. I could sit there wanting a house and knowing that I got tax liens against me. So I went, some of y'all, I heard this testimony many times, and when I sit down with the agent, she pulled up the paperwork and said, Mr. Lang, all your debt wow. has been forgiven. Yeah. Don't that make you happy? Yeah. I say, See, but because I was believing God for the house, yes. I had to face the taxes. Yes. Because if I'm really believing God, then I know God is going to help me do something about the taxes. Yes. So why run from something uh-huh. if I got all made God on my side? Yes. 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 So God is talking to Ezekiel. He says, now, you heard what I said, right? Now you go and say the same thing that I said to these bones. He said, I ain't going to say it for you. You got to speak it. Because you got to believe it first. That's how I operate. He says, now if you believe what I said to you, remember what Paul said last week when the storm, he said, wherefore sirs, I believe God that it shall be even as it was told me. See, you got to believe God that the thing is going to, what God is saying to your ear, that when you speak it out, it's going to be with exactly what God said. Yeah. Let, me, let me read this now. I'm going to I'm, 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 I'm finish it more. So I prophesy as I, I was what? Commanded. See, the word of God command situations. Yeah. God don't ask no devil to get out the way. <laughs> they tell me they got some movie out in the movies and people are all freaking out and all that. If you know who you are, you ain't freaking out about nothing. He yeah. says he's giving us power over all the powers of the enemy. Yes. Mm-hmm. I ain't running from no devil. All right. Mm-hmm. I cast him out. All yeah. right. He's giving me power with it. Yeah. Come on. I ain't worried about nobody cursing me. Yeah. You can't curse me. Nobody cannot curse me. Why? Once God has blessed me, yeah. he, they tried it. Uh-huh. Yeah. He said, I can't curse. What God has blessed. Amen. If you know you've been blessed by God yeah. and you're a child of God, yeah. I don't care what they say yeah. that's going to come again. They can pull hair. Uh-huh. Come on, Pastor. Yeah. Say it, Pastor. Pull it. Yeah. So pull some of my hair. Yeah. 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 I don't care. Uh-huh. You can't drive me crazy. Right. I got the peace of God. Yeah. Right. <laughs> come on, that breeze, Pastor. Sweep my feet, all that crazy oh, stuff. Right. I ain't going to no jail with nobody. I, I'm a child of God. Yes. See, you that yes. stuff. Crazy Good. stuff. Yeah. Don't let no woman walk in your house first on New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Come on now. Huh? What about the words? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What are you believing God? That's yeah. it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. See, you gotta get away from this stuff. You gotta learn to believe what God said. Yeah. That's what God was really demonstrating to Ezekiel. He said, look at here. When I say something to you, say the thing I say, thing I say. That's why I don't give my opinion to you. 
Because my opinion can't do nothing for you. Yes. 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 He said, you shall know the what? The yes. truth. Yes. And it's the truth that makes you free. Yes. Huh? Yes. He said, if you abide in me, yes. and my words abide in you, yes. you can ask. See, so I, I like it like that. Because mm -hmm. I can ask what I will. Yes. You may not want what I want. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Come on. That's right. Come on. He said, You can ask what you will. Mm -hmm. You may not need what I need. That's right. Come on now. So get out of the opinion business. Mm -hmm. Stop letting everybody tell you how to run your life. That's it. Start running your life according to God's word. Amen. Amen. I tell you, it'll work. Yeah. It'll work every time. Yeah. Start yielding and submitting to God's word. Yeah. Now, let me finish. <clears throat> he says, so I prophesied as I was commanded. And, then, and as I prophesied, there came a noise. Uh -huh. And behold, what happened then? A shaking. Yes. You see? One thing. Mm -hmm. Then the next thing. Uh -huh. It ain't all happening at once. Mm -hmm. See, you get discouraged because you don't see it all at once. No, all get happy about the little thing. Yes. Yes. The Bible says, despise not the day of small beginning. Hey, we can just see the little thing. Yes. Go red to God. Get happy about it. Yes. You, you mad because you didn't get the ten dollar hour rate raise. But they gave you two. I right. give praise God for the truth. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 Instead of murmuring and complaining, yeah. when well, they should have gave me both. Maybe God just says, now, now I'm going to do this right here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because I'm going to show you something about yourself. Yeah. You ain't happy until you get what you want, when you want, how you want, and where you want. Yeah. Yeah. See, but the Bible says, learn to be content <laughs> in whatever state you find yourself in. Amen. Okay, I, 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 I was believing God for 10. They only gave you two. Thank you, Lord. I two more than I did that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and give him praise for the truth. Because yeah. God is not in the addition business. That's right. He's in the multiplying yeah. business. Yeah. So then yeah, he might give me two times two as what four. And then he might multiply it again and fuck down four is what? Six. Six. See, I'm already over ten right now. Go with the God. I'm praising God. Hey, no, go with the God. So you got to understand that sometimes you're just being tested because God is allowing you to see where you are. Amen. Sometimes we just ungrateful. That's it. That's it. We're unthankful. Yeah. We're constantly murmuring and complaining. That's it. Glory to God. But I've been into a lot of situations. I was at the end of the line. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Didn't know what to do. Didn't know how to do it. But yeah. I was put in my right place. Yeah. <clears throat> but see, I know who I am. Yeah. You can't keep me there. You can only put me there. That's it. Ah, see, you can put me there, but my faith gonna take me out of there. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. And see, you got to understand that when God yes. is speaking something to you, oh, yeah. He's speaking it because you can't see it, you can't feel it, but He knows everything. So He knows if you'll just do what He said. Mm -hmm. It has no options yeah. but to happen. Mm -hmm. So I got noise. Mm -hmm. I got shaking now. Mm -hmm. And there's some progress happening. Yeah. Right. Uh huh. See, so look, look, look for your progress now. Come on, come on, look for it. Amen. Uh -huh. yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm always looking for progress. Yes. Yes. Always. Yes. Uh, he told. He told Elijah. Go look for rain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Elijah got up there mm -hmm. praying, praying, kept telling his servant to go back. He said, I don't see nothing. The sky's just as dry. Mm -hmm. It's a dry. Mm -hmm. Elijah said, God said it's gonna rain. Go look for rain. Mm -hmm. He went back seven times. He came back. He said, Well, all I see mm -hmm. 
is a cloud about the size of a man's hand. Now you know that's a small cloud. Elijah like said, that's good enough. Because God can take the cloud of the size of a man's hand and call it a storm. See, God can do anything. All Elijah wants to see was some progress. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He went on. He says, and behold, the shaking, and the bones came together. Bone to bone. See, you see all this happening? It's not happening all at once. There's noise. There's a shaking. And then the bones just don't all jump together. They have to move from place to place. Come on, man. The ankle bone. Connected to the knee bone. And the thigh bone. Connected to the ankle bone, hip bone. It's coming together. Yes. It's forming now. Glory. Don't be weary now. Glory. And well done. Keep on staying with it. Yes. Glory, glory, glory. Mm -hmm. And when I behold, beheld, lo, the sinew and the flesh came upon the bones. Look at it. Things are starting to look better now. And it ain't all together, but it ain't bad as it used to be. Glory oh, to God. So you got to thank God. It, 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 it may not be what you want, but God, I thank you, Lord. It ain't bad as it used to be. Glory to God. Because I remember when I was eating mustard sandwiches, but now I got some bologna. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I don't necessarily like bologna, but I like bologna and mustard better than I like mustard. Glory to God. It's coming together now. Hallelujah. Ah, now I got a little lettuce right here. And I got me some tomatoes. And glory to God, I got some mayonnaise. It's coming together. After a while, I got me a whole bologna sandwich. And now I'm tired of bologna. I said, Lord, how about some of them steaks there? Glory to God. But I can't go to the best steak restaurant. But I just go, I'm going to go somewhere and eat me a steak. Because I want to get the taste of it in my mouth. You see, you got to learn when God is moving you, move with him. Don't complain. That stops everything. Yes, yes, yes. Don't murmur. Don't go back. Yes. Keep moving with him. Yes, yes, yes. All right. <laughs> then he said, and when I beheld, he said, but there was what? No breath in them. So when it came together, it was formed, but it was still useless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you know how that body is in that casket, don't you? Mm -hmm. We've all seen what's happened with it. When that breath is gone, I don't care how pretty you make it up. Uh -huh. That's why I, I tell my wife if I leave here before, I say, I don't care what y'all do with me. Uh -huh. I'm, in, I'm gone. I'm with the Lord. Yeah. Amen. 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 I ain't putting no diamond rings and all that for some of the uh -huh. great people to get that. Uh -huh. I ain't going God don't want it. Uh -huh. <laughs> there he goes on. Bang first, and I'm closing again. Mm -hmm. Then he said unto me, Prophesy. Uh -huh. Unto the wind. Mm -hmm. First, I prophesy to the what? The bones. Mm -hmm. Now, he switches up. Prophesy mm -hmm. to the wind. Mm -hmm. See, you got to know when God is changing up. Okay. Don't get stuck on the same thing and doing it the same way. Because that God did it that way last time. Don't mean he's going to do it this way this time. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That's why you got to have a what? An ear. Mm -hmm. The Bible says he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Don't get caught up on yesterday. Yes. God to change now. Okay. Now he tells him to prophesy to the what? Prophesy to the wind. 
prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, thus says the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding army, an exceeding great army. You see, stand to your feet. You don't have to know everything. You ain't got to try to figure out how God's going to do this. Yes. Some people say, I ain't going to the doctor because he's going to tell me something I don't want to hear. As if, he, if you don't go, uh, it still ain't going on. Uh, no, you, you need to go because uh, your faith ain't in the doctor. Uh, he's giving you information. Yeah. He's giving you facts. Yeah. I ain't gonna answer them creditors. <laughs> All they do is just tell me something bad. You did it. <laughs> the devil didn't go sign them on it. Oh, you evicted the devil. The devil didn't put his signature on there. God didn't put his, right? You put yours. All right, well, own it. God can fix anything. Yes. God can do anything. He's God. Yes. But you got to face things. Yes. And then you got to hear from God. Yes. And then you began to speak. Yes. Oh yeah. I had to, when I talked to you about the IRS, they, wouldn't, they, they, hadn't, did, they hadn't pulled the number on me. I did the other game. They didn't just Decide to say, woke up and said, we're going to get you, John Landon, $50,000. We're going to have you. No. I ain't having things properly. Mm -hmm. And then I kept like, you know, because they, that tax, that interest, and keep building, keep. Mm -hmm. And you know what? You know what I did? I didn't face it because I was scared. Uh -huh. I heard all these stories. Then I got tired. Mm -hmm. See, when you get tired yes. of the same old thing, then you start wanting something new. Yes. Yes. Then you start look, look at it. And, I, and it just hit me. Why in the world am I running? Mm -hmm. And I serve all my God. Yes, yes, yes. See, once you face it, yes. Yes, yes. Ezekiel looked at the bones and said, Get up! Come together. Win! I don't know what direction you come from, but I'm prophesying from all four directions. Yes, yes, yes. And come into these bones. Come into this body. Yes. You see, God, what you don't know, He does. Yes, yes. But He's ready, waiting. To have dialogue with you. Yes. Stop running from me. Uh -huh. He knows you. Yes. Stop running from your pain. He knows it. Yes. Stop running from disappointment. He don't run no more. Amen. Let the devil know you know what? You may have did a job with me, but my God is greater than that. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. My God is greater than anything. The devil, I'm going to my God. Yes. I'm taking this situation to my God, and I tell you what, I'd rather trust him than anybody else. Yes. And when you go to God and you honest with God, I'm telling you, that's why the Bible says, that, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. God will take a thing and make it work that wasn't working at all. Yes. 
Glory. Let us pray. So say it to yourself. I don't know. I don't know. But he does. But he does. I say it to the Lord. I say, Lord, I don't know. Lord, I don't know. But you do. But you do. And I come to you. And I come to you. With this situation. With this situation. It look like there's no way out. It look like there's no way out. No way to fix it, God. No way to fix it, God. It seems like I'm stuck. It seems like I'm stuck. But there's nothing. But there is nothing right there. Too, hard for you. too hard for you. Now, if you believe that, then you start moving in that direction. If it's just a tiny step, if you don't know Christ as your personal Savior, that's the first step. God can't do nothing until you give yourself to Him. If you're a backslider, don't stay out there. Come on back home. God can't do nothing until you can. Hey, that pig pen, ain't you tired of it? Yeah. Well, come on back home. You're tired of weeping and crying about that situation. Hallelujah. He didn't say weeping will do it forever, did he? He said, we've been willing to do for a night, for a season. We ain't supposed to continue crying about that thing. Right. Come on. There's an end. Yeah. He tells us, surely there is an end and your expectations oh, shall not be cut off. Yeah. Oh, but you got to give it to him. You got to come to him. Yes. You have to have dialogue with him. So if you are right now, you say, Lord, I don't know what to do. You're in that type of situation in your mind. Or you're going through something and you just don't know what to do right now. Now the first thing to do if you're not saved is to give your life to Christ. Yes. Because there's nothing greater you can do than prepare yourself for eternity. But then the second thing, if you're a backslider, come on back home. Tell God you surrender. But then, if you know Jesus, but you just, life is just going to hit you with some blows. You don't know what to do now. Don't you give up. I don't care how bad it looks. That's why he gave us the illustration of them very dry bones. Because no matter how bad it is, God can change it. So if, it, if it, in any one of those areas you need prayer, you want prayer, I want you to come right now.